Hi everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about a beloved feature that we used to have on our past Samsung Galaxy devices. And that was the little LED notification light. Now I found one scouring through all of the different applications on the Play Store that is one that is A for free, there is no ads, and also a ton of customizations and one that just works the way you want it to. You can see here, we're actually alternating a couple different colors. We have blue and we also have white. That's because one of them is distinguishing a text message and the other one is distinguishing an email that I just got. Now, the one that we're talking about today is called AOD Notify. So it's basically the, the always on display notification. So it's a way that it is using a little bit of battery to kind of display this little light up there on the very top, which you can basically move anywhere you want to and really any size you want with any color with any application the only thing is that it will kind of turn on your always on display which a lot of people do use anyways but the nice thing about it is that you can see that it's barely doing any light anywhere any illumination and then after two minutes or however long you have it set it'll actually just disappear so this one was running for about two minutes and now it's done and so if you were to just glance at your phone even with it basically kind of turned off and you see a little blinking light then you know that you have a notification now what i'm going to show you here is pretty much all of these setups that i have i'm going to show you what it kind of looks like and how you can customize it then what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete it i'm going to reinstall the app and start from fresh so this way you can see every single step of the way of how to set this up just because there are a few permissions that you have to give at the very beginning. So this way it can know if you get a notification or not. So going through this application, it'll probably take you a second to get used to it. Here's the main screen. When you go inside of notifications, this is where you can change things for applications and then also battery. Like if you're charging your phone, if you wanted to show you that you're fully charged, uh, then you have all your notification lights. So you change the style, the effect, the dimensions, the location, the position, uh, and then also how long you want it to happen with the, with the display time. So going with this very top one up here first, we're gonna take a look at notifications. So this is where you first choose your apps. Which applications would you like to get notified with this app right here? So I have the ones on the very top that are, are already turned on. If I was to turn on another one, that one would also move to the very top. So I pretty much turned on the majority of the ones I wanted, but I did forget about Snapchat. So when you wanna add in an app, you basically turn it on, you can tap on it, and then you can even do this option right here, uh, you can turn this on to where if your phone is already unlocked and you're using the phone, you can ignore it. But I like having it still come through because that light is coming up on the very top. So that means that if I'm in a different application, let's say I'm playing a game or maybe I'm watching YouTube or whatever, and I see a little blinking yellow light, then that means that I got something from Snapchat. So it's kind of fun that you can still get it even when the phone is off. Uh, and then you also have this notification preview. So it'll kind of show you a, uh, the app is allowed to show a message preview. Uh, so you can either have that on or off. And basically you just go through and then you select all the applications that you would like for this to work with. Then if you want to do anything with battery, so if your phone is charging and you plug it in, it's going to be, you know, uh, you know, if you want a little notification light and yeah, so you can kind of go through those as well too. If the phone is fully charged and again, these will only show for two minutes. So it's up to you. I selected the top two and then you can ignore notifications when your phone is unlocked. Now, I like I said from before, this is for basically all of them, um, but I like having this one toggled off because if I'm in another application, I can still see a blinking light on the very top because you might be in YouTube or playing a game and you don't see your notification come through, but you can see the blinking light. You know exactly what it is. And then you can mark the notification as seen when the notification is cleared or if your phone is unlocked, or if the screen is on. Now, like I said from before, you could be in another application getting a vibrate, letting you know you got a notification. You don't really know where it came from, but you have the little blinking light. So I just keep this option here. So it'll only keep blinking for not only the display time I set up, but also up until I do this right here. So once I swipe off, then that little light up there, if it's during the time of its blinking period, it will actually go away and turn off. 
So that was everything with notifications. We've pretty much covered this entire section. It was pretty easy. Now going inside of the notification light. This is where you can change how it looks, where it's at, the size, you know, the style. So this is what it's going to look like if your screen is on and when the screen is off. You can do the LED lot, uh, dot, which again, I'm doing this one for nostalgia reasons. It reminds me of the older phones and it's something that's very small. You can do the screen edges if you like this one better than the stock version on Samsung, but I already have the stock version, so I'm, that's the one I'm going with. You can do it around the camera edge if you want it to go around the camera or disable it. So again, I'm gonna go with the LED dot. Uh, you can go inside of the uh, effects. So how do you want it to look? You know, so you have this little ro rotate there. Here's your eclipse. It's gonna, you know, do a little eclipse. Do you want it to kind of go on a beat? Do you want it to have a, a center glow? So you can change how you want it. And again, I like blink. That is the way that it used to be. Um, but yeah, you have some of the options right here to change the effects. There is like a premium HD one. There's even the, the, the Blink Eco if you want it to kind of, you know, have a little bit of a power saving version with it. You have the speed so you can make that go quicker or slower just by moving this up and down. I left it at 100% because for me personally, it looks the best. Uh, and then for dimensions, this is where you can change how big you want it. So I'm resizing it. And as you go through it very small, you can see that it is actually getting bigger. If I was to move the slider, you know, it would go much quicker and, and you'd see the size, you know, more greatly. But I'm just going to go with these little uh, arrows. So five is the, the version I like. Here's your offset. So if you wanted to, you know, go up, if you want it to go down, if you want it to go left, or if you want it to go right, um, you can choose where you want it. I mean, if you want it all the way over there, you can. But again, I like mine closer to the camera just because I know for a fact that it's not gonna mess up with the camera. It's not gonna go where my time is or where other application is. It's not gonna cover up my battery. So I put it right here just because I think that's a good spot for me. So again, you can move it wherever you want with those dimensions. Here's your display time. So how long do you want this light to show? It's basically just the always on display. So when the screen is off, mine is set for two minutes, you can change it. When the screen is on, you can bring it down to, uh, let's see, what, one minute, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. So I just left everything at two minutes. And if I am looking at my phone, I'll just simply swipe it on off. So here is power saving. So stamina mode, special interval mode, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Um, and then it, uh, with up to 50% less power consumption, and then you have interval mode, the notification light is shown X times and then paused. This will improve battery life. So if you wanted to show, you know, maybe six times and then pause, you know, for what, like five seconds or so. So you can go through, change it however you want. If you'd want to, you know, power save a little bit because it is always on display, but I don't really see it taking too much of the battery. Uh, but yeah, here's that special interval mode. One, one tap click, you're able to, you know, change that. And so that was everything underneath that notification light. And now here's that notification preview. So through here, notification preview replaces the always on display so you can directly see the latest notification. So it's gonna look like this right here. Like the Ozone display to uh, pre, uh, preview changes, positions on the screen, the battery consumption is very low. So you can have the display time of 10 seconds for this to come up. This right here, you can have it show the little app icon. Uh, I don't need that little baby app icon, so I turned it off. Show notification info. Again, I don't need that on, so I turn it off. Show current time. It's up to you if you want it to show time or not. So I kept mine on. I kept my icon row. You can also have notification icon or uh, yeah, the title, which I don't need that. Show notification text, so I don't really need that as well. So it's very, very customizable. I love it. You can have it to where it'll invert icons. So how do you want it to look? I thought this looked pretty cool, so I'm gonna leave it as that. You can put it over to the left. Uh, here's your show icon background, which you don't need that. Show contact images, if available, you don't really need that. So this is the only one that I really turned on there. And then this is where you can change the size of pretty much everything. Size of the icon row, size of the divider, the, the size of the text, size of the title, size of the header. You have all of this stuff here that you can make bigger or smaller of what you've selected. So we've already gone through everything with notifications. We've gone through everything with the notification light, everything with the notification preview, and this is where you can change the colors. So for app colors, this is where you can choose different colors for everything. So for Snapchat, I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna select it to be yellow, uh, just because you know I believe uh, Snapchat is kind of that color. So we're gonna go with yellow. I went with a darker blue for Twitter, a little uh, lighter one for messages. So yeah, three of them are kind of blue. That's just the way you know it is. My, my Gmail is white, Instagram is pink, the phone is green. 
And if you long press it, it'll clear the entry so you can get rid of it. Battery colors, so you can go through here. If my phone is fully charged, it'll be green. If the phone is charging, it'll be red. Uh, contact colors, so you can actually change colors on messages from specific contacts, which I have not done that just yet. Uh, default color, this is just kind of what color do you want to come through as a default if you don't make changes to application colors. And you also have auto color. It'll colorize the notification light depending on the app icon. You can turn that on and make it simple. I wanted to go through and just customize it because I was, again, trying to play with everything. And then this is where you can also customize it here too. So you can either show the latest. So at the beginning of the video, I had a text and an email. So then this way I'd be able to either have it show the very last thing that came in, which would have been an email and it only blink in white or I can alternate it and it's going to go through all of the color notifications, um, you know, as it would be. So I just got an email. You can see it's blinking white. And if I got another, let's say text message, or if I got something from Instagram, then basically it'll go through those two colors and it'll alternate. And that's really what that last option is. Uh, and then for general settings. So here is this right here. The always on display is not displayed. So only the notification light is visible. That's the way I have it set up currently because I'm not a huge user of always on display. Um, I feel like if I'm not gonna really look at the display, it doesn't need to be on anyways. So yeah, I'm able to save battery and I'm so glad that they put this in there. This one is only notification. So activate the always on display when notifications arrive and hide the always on display if notifications are seen. Tap to show, always show. So I just did this one on the very top. So if I get a notification and my screen is off, it'll be black with a little blinking light on the very top. And then uh, let's see, that one I believe is just selected. Here's some power savings. So custom nighttime, uh, follow the do not disturb. So if you have do not disturb turned on, so this way you don't have a little blinking light come on. So yeah, I'm gonna do that option right there. Wake up, uh, wake up the screen when a notification arrives. You can turn that on if you would like. But yeah, look at all these really cool customizations of what you're able to do. And that is everything. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to delete this application. Um, so then this way I can show you all of the steps of what you would have to do, which is pretty sad because that means I have to go through it all over again. So I'm gonna show you the very, very beginning steps just because I wanna make sure that you don't have any questions when it comes down to downloading this application. So always on display, go inside of, uh, or always on display notification. So you just wanna install it. Now you're gonna open it and this is why you can see that I wanted to show you uh, from the very beginning because you just have to follow these instructions. So select apps. This is where you'd wanna select it from the very get go. So we're gonna go through and I'm just gonna choose on something just to get it started. So let's say I just choose on Facebook and that's it. What you're gonna notice is that now it's kind of check marked. Notification access. So now you have to make sure you access, give the access of notifications to come through this application. It's not going to read your notifications. It's just going to, you know, let the application know you got a text message or anything and it's going to give you the right notification. Always on display. It's going to be right here. I have to install this always on display manager. So you just tap there. So you can see how quick this is, but also some people could get confused. Draw on screen. It's just a way that you can get the notification light popping up. Um, so it's going to be down here in this installed apps, you go to always on display and you just want to turn this one on and you hit on allow and then that is it. And so this is where you would be able to go through uh, and go through all those settings one more time. So this is where I'd have to go through all my colors and change my default, you know, show, uh, you know, alternate it. So yeah, so now I'm going to have to go through and right now it's actually set up to my camera. So now I'd have to go through and change, let's see, notifications. Uh, let's go on back here. So I'd be able to go to notification light, the style. I'm going to go to the LED dot, LED dot. And again, I just have to go through and finish all the rest of these that I had set up from before. So that was everything that I want to show you in today's video. You can go back to nostalgia. You can go back to putting the LED light up there. Again, I scoured through all of them. I went through some that were paid and I had to get a refund because they weren't that great. A bunch of them, you're not able to customize it like this. A lot of them had ads. So I found the one that was literally the best and I wanted to share with you guys today. Again, that one is going to be the AOD, which is always on display, Notify. It's this free app right here. It's been downloaded over a million times. So yeah, hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.